Hello everyone, my name is Anand Tathed and I welcome you to this mini case study on Air Arabia, the best low cost carrier aircrafts in the business. Understanding that the regional air market had already reached saturation, Air Arabia was launched as UAE's third airline. It was established under Sultan bin Muhammad Al Qasimi and its first flight flew from Sharjah in UAE to Bahrain International Airport. The most important aspect of their plan was to convert potential customers into actual because existing market was not a place to fight for newbies. They realized that they could build a good brand loyalty by giving affordable rates and quality service. But to give affordable rates and quality service, how do you mix the two? There had to be a perfect pick and the perfect pick was Airbus A320. It was spacious and it was perfect. The Airbus A320 had the perfect match because it had 32-inch seat pitch, 18-inch seat width and a larger cabin size with the wider aisle. Also, the best legroom offered by any of its competitors in the LCC market made it unique because 162 passenger capacity coupled with these, you get comfort and efficiency at the same time. Air Arabia had a simple strategy. If you give them affordable rates and affordable prices, they come to you. But if you give them the best in-flight experiences of the best quality, they never leave. They made the memories a living dream. The PLS Fly More motor was brought to life by Air Arabia. They realized that the customers would fly more and more frequently with them if they get the best customer experience on the flight with a lot of fun and a homey feeling. How exactly did Air Arabia maintain its cost effectiveness? How was it possible for them to go ahead in the market with such low costs? What were the strategies that they sought out that others could not? Let's have a look. The use of Sharklet technology had three major benefits. Firstly, it helped the airline to facilitate higher takeoff weights. Secondly, it helped the airline to reduce its fuel emissions by 4% on the fuel burning. And thirdly, it helped them provide the customers with a smooth flying experience by reducing the turbulence on the in-flight mode. Fuel hedging has made it possible for Air Arabia to keep their prices low even after the variating prices of fuel every single day. Also, the opting of brand new planes and the choice of buying new planes has reduced the fuel cost and environmental impact that the fuel emissions have on the Earth's surface. The online booking system of Air Arabia is an excellent system which helps Air Arabia to provide better user-friendly service to its customers and provide all the information they require on the move. It also helps the aircraft company to keep more and more aircrafts in the air every single day with average aircraft flying time being 14 hours a day and 82% seat load factor, the major reason for its sales and revenues. Air Arabia has a value tried system which consists of great flying experience, good quality service and affordable prices to all its customers so that its brand loyalty remains perfectly royal and its uniqueness is no match. During its global expansion, Air Arabia established five different hubs in UAE, Sharjah, Morocco, Jordan and Egypt. It has about 115 global destination flights and 39 carriers owned right now with an order of another 44 carriers to be delivered soon. Even after their global expansion, Air Arabia realized its corporate social responsibility and launched various projects in different countries at the same time in 2015. Here is a list of all the projects launched by Air Arabia in 2015. Air Arabia has won a lot of awards since its establishment in 2003. The most major awards being Hall of Fame Award for Air Arabia CEO in 2010, the Best Business Leader of the Year Award for Aid Lally in 2011 and so on. Also Air Arabia has won awards like the Corporate Social Responsibility Award in 2012 at the Aviation Business Awards, the Best Air Low Cost Carrier Airline Awards in Middle East at Skytrax World Airline Awards 2015, the Customer Innovation Award at Aviation Achievement Awards in 2015 and so on. The awards highlighted superior brand value. Now after seeing the airline and its market, let's focus our attention on the questions asked in the mini case study in Kotler and Keller Marketing Management Expo. The biggest question is why don't other airline companies apply the same business model as Air Arabia? Well, the answer is simple. When you are going into the low cost carrier market, the Air Arabia market is already set up. They have been quoting costs and growing it 
giving low cost services to the customers for more than 10 years so they already know how to manage at low costs not just that they also have dodged the price cutting traps which may not be possible for the newcomers the next question that arises is what challenges does Air Arabia face? What will happen if other airlines apply the same business model as them? Will it be able to maintain its leadership in the market? Well, the answer is once again simple because Air Arabia is like a lone wolf in the LTC market. They know their strengths, they know how to survive, they know the challenges they face because the competition in the market is very rare for them right now. But as the time passes, if fuel hedging is not that feasible in the, ne uh, in the upcoming market days, it may be a very difficult challenge for air Arabia to face and maintain the low costs not just that the other companies who try to position themselves in the lcc market may face the same challenge as well so at the end air arabia who know how to cut costs and survive in the market will still have the upper hand but it will be a big challenge for them to cross this barrier of fuel hedging and come up with their expectations of their clients so that's it from me guys i hope this video was a little help for all of you and i look forward to interacting with you with any subsequent videos that i post on my page thank you this video was created by anand Tated during a summer internship under professor samir mathur i am lucknow